Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Danasia. If you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the DCM family. Hope this is a little dirty. Um, anyways, so today I'm pretty excited because we are seeing a town home today. Now the neighborhood is pretty cute. This is like a diamond in the rough type of deal, like what they talk about um, with homes in Dallas. Sometimes the outside isn't the cutest, but the inside is what's gonna sell you. But what I'm telling you is this home is pretty nice. It's really nice actually. It has its own little community. So it has amenities and stuff like that. So that's nice. Um, I'm trying to look on here. So what they did to the house, they did new paint and flooring throughout, new quartz countertops in the kitchen. Uh, new granite counters in the bathroom, new lighting and plumbing fixtures throughout, new kitchen appliances, downstairs master suite, beautiful soaking tub and separate frameless shower with bench and master bathroom, walk-in closets in all three bedrooms, huge utility room with laundry upstairs, um, laundry hookups available in downstairs pantry if desired. Uh, community amenities include a clubhouse, pool with a picnic slash gathering space, tennis courts, and green belt. Uh, warranty for roof replaced in October 2019. This home is going for $420,000. It is 2,091 square feet, three beds, two and a half baths. So I'm going to take a picture of that. That way I can put it all in the description but basically that's everything about the house um and it is really really nice i will show you all the uh community a little bit um i'm not really gonna ride around and try to find the amenities I'm not gonna do that because it's already weird driving around in the community that you don't know about but what i will show you is the actual community of the other little townhomes and they're really cute they're really cute so we're going to start off by the door and yeah, we're going to get this tour started. Okay. So we're right here by the door. This is the door. Okay. And then to your right is already your half bath. For your guests to use. See the new granite countertops. The flooring is nice as well. I love that flooring. And then over here you have a bedroom. Well, the light fixtures are pretty low, so if you have any children, they don't have to go up too high or reach too high. Oh, this is the master suite, okay. This is the restroom. His and hers. This is one of the closets. This is the second one. This home, for all of the renovations they put into it, is actually fairly inexpensive. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's the restroom. They have his and hers robes. Then they do have that garden tub. And then also they have that stand-up shower with the bench. There's no connection right in here. So they just extended the surrounding of the tub to create a bench, which is actually quite smart. So, and then they also have a vent right in there. 
But this is nice. Flooring is nice. Looks like it will be only carpet in the bedrooms. See right outside, somebody knocking on your door, you can go ahead and look. Oh, okay. So the entry from the garage is connect straight to your master suite. That's a little, that's, a, that's pretty different. So the garage entrance goes right into the master suite, which I don't know how I would feel about that because Oh, okay. They said this garage access door was added by the previous owner. The primary uh, garage access door is directly across from the porch by the front door. If you like the access door, keep it. If not, it can be removed and rewalled as original, originally designed. Yeah, because I don't know about that. That that one's a little, that that's a little different. That's a little different. Oh, okay. So basically, this is outside, y'all. I'm guessing that's the garage door. But this is what your front door will look like. But I'm guessing that's the garage door. Where you enter and exit. Yes, the door is pretty hard to close a little bit. I think I'm being a little too strong. <laughs> Um, walking down the hall, you have a storage right here. I'm not going all the way down there, but you have storage. You have your dining area. Y'all hear that wind? Y'all, it is going crazy here in Dallas with that wind. I'm pretty sure this is going to be your water heater in here. So there really is no need to look in there. And then they did like this bluish gray color with the cabinets. And I actually kind of like it. Um, it looks nice. They have the same flooring in the kitchen that they do have in the bathroom. And then you do have a flat stove. Uh, yeah, flat top stove. Dishwasher. Oven. Microwave. You will have to purchase your own refrigerator. And this is what we were they were talking about. With if you want a washer and dryer in here as well. That there was connections. I'm guessing down there. But I would just keep this as a pantry. Is this outside? I don't want to go outside right now. Oh, and you have another little seating area, dining room area right in here. I didn't even notice that. You could just put like a little bar. I would honestly just make this like a little bar area. It's more than enough space, more than enough room. And just have all my family and friends over here. Look at these bomb light -like fixtures. Oh, so this is the living area. Has a fireplace. Looks like a wood burning fireplace, meaning that you are going to have to get chimney suites. So you guys gotta remember to do that, but it looks nice. Looks like they had the TV mounted on the brick. It's really nice in here. It's pretty cute. I picked it because it just isn't your typical townhome, you know? It's more of a, like a older modern feel, if that makes sense. And you have some more fixtures. Okay, so this would be your laundry room and closet or yeah really because that is a huge larger room oh lord the wind is just making stuff pop so in here is a different restroom it's a full bath it's the tub Shower. It's having a little hard time to focus because it's all white. 
Oh, okay. And they have a connection to this bathroom. I mean, to this bedroom. This is a closet. What am I doing? Where is the thing at? Um, I don't know where the light is in here. Yeah, I don't know where the light is in here. But this is the closet. And then this is the bedroom. I accidentally came into. <laughs> but it has mirrors. Like, you don't even have to worry about any type of mirror being in this room. So that's nice. And then you walk right over here into another bedroom. Oh, and this is a pretty big closet. I don't know where it liked it. Oh, that's probably, the other one's probably outside of it too. Yeah, this one's bigger. This closet is bigger than the other one, but it looks like the other room is probably bigger. I wonder if these are just mirrors. I really just scuffed myself. Um, oh, I'm trying to see if those, you can click it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a nice house. It's a town home. So if you all are looking to purchase a town home, your budget is around four to four hundred to five hundred thousand. This one is for you, especially if you like it. I like it. The neighborhood seems very friendly, very diverse. When I was riding by, well put together neighborhood. And we are in Dallas, Texas. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be a part of the DC and family. Also, make sure you all hit that link down below. So if you're looking to be a real estate agent, you can get 20% off and then just find the uh, state that you're in and you know, use that discount code so you can be a real estate agent like me and let me know when you use it. <laughs> okay, use that discount code. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Bye. <laughs>